Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I will be reviewing Skims Part 3. Yes, I have done two other videos on my page reviewing Skims and what you guys need to know before buying. This one is going to be more of a review of their bodysuits and styling them as well. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please subscribe down below. Um, in my last two Skims review videos, I was just doing it on my own. If you guys have seen those two videos, you guys know I'm genuinely a huge fan and loyal customer of the brand. I, I just get so excited of all the things that they launch. Just to sum up a few reasons why I love Skims as a brand is the quality of their product, the shade range of their products, and the size inclusiveness of the lines. So I'm really excited today to partner with them and I'm just so grateful. It's really like a dream come true for me to be working with Skims on today's video. Without further ado, let's just get started. I've got my shipment right here and it is just destroyed because I got so excited. I like ripped up this whole box and I was like, okay, let me just open it up. So if you guys don't already know, you can purchase skims on multiple retailers. It is actually more accessible. That was one thing, kind of a critique that I had towards the brand early on um, because I felt like, you know, it was such an amazing product, but not everybody could get it. But now they're selling on, I think, Net-A-Porte, um, Essence, Nordstrom. Those are a few places that I've seen it. So um, it's really exciting that we can now have more access to the brand, which I love. If you do purchase from skims.com, um, it will look something like this. You'll get this gorgeous packaging. Each of the products comes in one of these uh, compostable plastic bags. They're not plastic, but I just call them plastic bags. I know that they're being conscious about their packaging, which I really do appreciate. So if you've never shopped from Skims before, I highly recommend shopping at the Fits Everybody line because this one is most basic. You know, these are all pieces that I think everyone could use versatilely in their wardrobe. I believe that the lingerie market market is lacking that sense of inclusivity in their shade ranges and I think Skims is kind of a pioneer in that they are bringing more inclusive shade ranges you know from really really fair all the way to super dark deep so I, I do really appreciate that about the brand. I got two boy shorts both in a size small. This one is in the color onyx which is just the black here. I would totally wear this to sleep. I feel like this is so breathable. The fabric I think you guys can tell. You see how much I'm stretching it. One thing to note when you are shopping Skims is if you are in between sizes, so let's say you're a size six, I would recommend sizing down because I find that Skims, all of the products are so, so stretchy and so flexible. So if you are unsure, I would size down rather than sizing up. I go in between the shade Ochre and Sienna and um, these are the shade differences. It's like foundation, honestly, which I think is pretty incredible. If I'm looking for something when I'm a little bit more tan, I go for Sienna. And then if I'm looking for something when I'm a little bit more fair, I go for ochre. So here's the difference between the boy short and the full brief. Um, as you can see, the boy short kind of sticks out a little bit more here. You've got more of that short like look, whereas the full brief has the same stomach coverage. So it does go up, but it kind of has that traditional brief like look. Let's move on to the bralettes. This is one of my favorite, favorite products that Skims carries. So most of you guys know I wear a size 34 double D and in the bralettes, I personally wear a size small. If you are someone who is a 34 triple D, that's when I would jump up to the size medium. So the first bralette that I want to talk to you guys about is the triangle bralette. I like that the triangle bralette isn't the kind that you have to like wear like a t-shirt. It does have the clasp in the back, which is so convenient for me. And with the bralettes, you won't be able to unclasp them and switch the back. Um, again, this one is in a size small. They also sent the same bralette in a size medium. So I'm showing you here the difference between the two sizes. It is very faint when you look at it on me but I think if you are someone with a triple D chest or even larger but you still have that smaller waist maybe going for a medium is better. I was not a really big fan of bandos. I sometimes find that it gives me the same look as a sports bra would where it's really compressing but I think it's because I didn't find a way to style it. You can wear it on its own with a blazer as well of course if you like that look. I would wear it with a crop top underneath and they kind of keep everything in place when you do have that extra security and extra bandaging. So this one here again is in a size medium and and I'm showing you the difference between the medium and a size small. I might opt for a size medium just so that it's not super small. I find that when something is too small on your chest, you would think that for a night out, I might have opted for a size small just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. But I think that's a really big misconception about bras. If you're having trouble with a bra kind of moving around or rolling over, it's probably because it's too small. For me, if I were to wear it on a night out, I would definitely opt for the size medium over the small. I have the scoop 
Lipstick Bralette in color Sienna. This is one of the first products that I purchased from the brand in black in Onyx. I, when I first saw it, I don't think like a 34 double D would fit in it, but the material is so incredibly stretchy. And I think if you watch multiple Skims reviews, a lot of people say the same thing. The way that they constructed this material to lay on the skin, it just really holds everything right where you would want it to be. The, and the final bra that I have to review for you guys is the Unlined Underwire Bra in Ochre. Again, I wear a size 34 double D. If you are someone who has a really large chest and you still want the support of a wire, but you don't wanna make it look like your chest is bigger, an unlined style, I could not recommend enough. There is a little bit of elastic, so it is very, very secure when it is on the chest. You know, it's not like an unlined where you lean forward and it's kind of flopping open. It does have that sense of security because of the elasticated band in the in the lip of the bra. With my experience for most of the Skims bras, they do have this convertible strap. Um, you know, when you're shopping for bras at other places, they offer a lot of prints or laces and different things like that. But those bras can, just like fashion trends, can feel like one day you wear it and the next day those trends are over. But with these Skims bras, I love that they come in solid colors, really just neutral tones, because you feel really sexy wearing them. Um, and they're really, really timeless. Again, I wanted to show you guys the difference between Sienna and Ochre. Today, I'm wearing the Fits Everybody Tank Bodysuit in Coco in a size small. Other bodysuits that I have that are like this shape have a lining underneath, and you can see that line if your boob doesn't fit the actual shape of the bodysuit, if that makes sense. This style is so stretchy and comfortable, like probably my by far one of my favorite bodysuits. It's super flattering on the neck. The cut of it is really beautiful. And again, for styling them, there's so many ways to style these bodysuits. And I find that it has really great coverage, especially for my chest. I'm not wearing anything underneath. The last bodysuit that I have to share with you guys, I'm sorry, these are inside out because I just tried them all on. Cami Thong bodysuit in ochre. Um, this one I would recommend wearing either pasties underneath or a strapless bra. Straps are very, very thin. Um, I'm not used to a cami with such thin straps, but surprisingly it holds me up pretty well. This is a great piece if you are layering, if you wanted to wear a blouse, or you had something that was just a little bit see-through, I'd probably opt for style like this. I like the way the scoop look, it's not too square, it's not too round, it's just right in between. So for a cami style look, it is just absolutely gorgeous. The straps are actually pretty wide set, which I think is super important. When straps are too close in, it can make the tank top look very, very strange and suddenly you get a lot of exposed side, but because they're kind of wide set, it does make it look a lot more flattering. Okay guys, and that is my full part three review of Skims and how to style Skims in their bodysuits. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And again, thank you so much to Skims for partnering with me on this video. I am just so, so, so thankful and grateful that um, one of my dream brands, one of my favorite dream brands wanted to to work with me. It's just such a dream come true. Um, again, I've been such a fan of this brand way before they ever contacted me. So please take a look at my other two previous Skims videos where you guys can see my honest reviews of shipping and the purchasing process and all that kind of stuff um, and my experience as a customer. Um, I'm happy to link those to you guys down below. Um, if you guys, again, have not subscribed to my channel or followed me on Instagram already or followed me on TikTok, I would really appreciate that. I hope you guys are having a great day, staying safe during this, this time of uncertainty, and um, just staying home with your loved ones. And again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!